Hey guys, I'm T, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This week, I decided to try my hand at something familiar but new and make a long sleeve full top. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but wasn't quite sure of the construction till now. I'm happy with the results. It's perfect for a date night or brunch, and it makes me feel like a princess, so there is that too. If you're into feeling like a princess, leave a crown emoji down below and tell me where you'd wear it. Now, it's time to get back to work, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 340 grams of yarn, and that's 760 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using four stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. and double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, first gonna grab our category four yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're gonna grab our five and a half millimeter hook and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. I want mine to be about 14 inches or 35 centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of 60. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. That counts as our turning chains. And from here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet into that chain that we blocked off for the third chain from our hook. So insert your hook into that third chain. Should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over. Pull through one. Still three loops on our hook. Yarn over. And pull through three. Let's do the next one together. Yarn over. Insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over. Pull through. Three loops on our hook. So yarn over. And pull through three. Put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last so that we can increase together. We made our way down to our last chain, so now we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets. So yarn over once, into that last chain, insert your hook with one half double crochet, and then into that same last chain, one more half double crochet. So yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through three. And that is our increase of two half double crochets. And from here, we're going to do back loop slip stitches. So do a chain up of one. That's our turning chain. Flip our work. And now we're going to go into the back loop with slip stitches for a ribbed look. So we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop. So instead of inserting our hook in through both loops like usual, insert our hook into the loop that's furthest away from us. We should have two loops on our hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Just like that, let's do the next one together. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, and once more into your next back loop, yarn over, and pull through. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Now that we're at the end of our back loop slip stitch row, we are going to be repeating these two rows until this reaches from mid underarm to the corner of our underarm. So let's get this started with you guys if you guys need to add more rows. Our next row is going to be a back loop half double crochet row. So do a chain of two, flip your work, 
And then from here, we're going to do half double crochets into the back loops. So just to do the first few together, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Yarn over, pull through, pull through three, and let's do one more. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, and pull through three. And like I said, repeat these two rows until this reaches from mid underarm to the corner of our underarm. But since mine is actually going to be fitted, I'm going to stop my underarm portion just after these two rows. But if you guys need to make this bigger, continue these two rows and I'll meet you back on a back loop slip stitch row. So let's take these apart and pretend like I didn't just do those next few stitches. There we go. Okay, so now that we have our underarm finished up, what we're going to do from here is do some more increases so that we have more of a curve right before we go in with our shoulder. So since we all ended on a back loop slip stitch row, we're going to chain one, chain two, that's our turning chain, flip our work, and then like I said in the previous clip, we're going to work our way up with back loop half double crochets, but since this portion is curving up to our shoulder, we're going to do an increase of three at the end of our row instead of our increase of two. So I will meet you back once we have just one stitch left. And now that we have done our back loop half double crochets all the way up, we have just one stitch left. And like I said, we're going to be doing an increase of three. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop with one. With two and then three back half double crochets and from here we do still need this to curve up a little bit more so we're going to increase into our slip stitch row as well so how we do that is chain one and then chain two flip our work the chain that's closest to our hook counts as our turning chain so insert your hook into that next chains back loop Yarn over, pull through everything, just like that. Into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through everything. Next stitch, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to put, ooh, yarn barf. We're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, while maintaining an increase of three into that last stitch. And repeat these two rows where we do an increase into both rows until this reaches the front of our body. And we want to make sure that when we're putting this up to ourselves, this reaches the front of our body, but not too far inward because we want the neckline to start closer to our shoulder tips. And also be sure to stretch it as if we were wearing it. So I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know how many rows I end up having and then how we're going to go into the shoulder. So I'll meet you guys back after a half double crochet row. All right, so we are back and I have just finished the entirety of my underarm portion. I have one, two, three, four, five rows, and I did end along the top right after a half double crochet row. And just to let you guys know, the total width that I have is super small. It's two inches or five centimeters, and that's unstretched. From here, we're going to put this up to ourselves. And from this corner, going all the way up to our shoulder, we're going to make a chain of that measurement. That measurement for me is about 5 inches or 13 centimeters, so that's going to be a chain of 17. Now that I have my chain, we are going to do the next row in our sequence, which is a slip stitch row. So block off that last chain to a chain of 1. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. Let's do the next one. Into that next chain. Insert, slip stitch, put one slip stitch into every chain, and then we make our way down to the body, continue to do back loop slip stitches all the way down. I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Alright, now that we have our one slip stitch row, this is going to be our shoulder. So from here, we're going to do the next row in our sequence, which is going to be a back loop half double crochet row. 
We're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have three left and then I'll meet you back. And now that we've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, we're going to do a decrease of three into the last stitches. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then into that last back loop, yarn over, and pull through. You should all have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through all five. We're going to need to do a decrease of two back loop slip stitches now. So do a chain up of one, flip our work, and let's do our decrease. So insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Also, into that next back loop, should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three loops. And put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three stitches. And then do another decrease of three into those last three stitches, just like how we did for the previous row. And then the row after that is going to be a row of back loop slip stitches with a decrease of two. We're going to maintain those two rows, working our way down until this stretches to the middle of our chest. And I'll meet you back after a half double crochet row so that we can go on to the other side. All right, so I am back with one half of my front panel. I have a total of 17 rows, and the width that I have is four and a half inches or 11 centimeters, but that is unstretched. From here, we should have all ended on our half double crochet row. And so our middle row is going to be a slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. So from where we're at, do a chain up of one, which I already have, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way down. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain out of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one because now we're going to be working our way up the other side so that we can do an increase into that last stitch. Okay, so we have just made our way down with our middle row, did a chain up of two, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one so that we can do the same thing that we did here, mirrored on the other side, but with increases instead of decreases. So into that last back loop, yarn over, and start by doing an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So insert with one, with two and then with three back loop half double crochets and now we're going to need to increase into our slip stitch row as well so do a chain of two and flip our work we're going to skip that chain that's nearest to our hook and insert our hook into that next chain's back loop so insert yarn over pull through everything and we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining our increase of three into that last one. And we're going to keep repeating these two rows for the same amount of rows that we have right here. And I'll meet you back after our half double crochet row just to remind you guys that for our last slip stitch row, we will not be doing an increase. All right, so I am back with my next loop, and I have finished the increase side, and I have the same amount of rows as my decrease side. And then from here, what we're going to do is our slip stitch row. We should have all ended on our half double crochet row. So what we're going to do is chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. All right, so I am back, and I have finished my slip stitch row, and now we're going to need to insert our stitch marker for our underarm portion. So we're first going to insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains as we made on the other side. So if you guys have my numbers, I made a total of 17 chains. So from the top, I'm going to insert my stitch marker into the 17th stitch. And then from here, I'm going to do a chain up of two, 
flip my work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until I am three stitches away from my stitch marker. All right, now that I'm three stitches away from my stitch marker, we're now going to do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So to prepare for that, we are going to yarn over, insert our hook into that third to last back loop, pull through, into that next back loop, pull through, and into that last, pull through. From here, we should have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all five loops. That is our decrease of three. And then once we have that, we're going to do a decrease into our slip stitch row as well, because that's what we did on this side over here. We're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, pull through. And that next back loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops that's on our hook just like that and then we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch when we reach the end do a chain up of two flip our work and repeat these two rows for the same amount of underarm rows that you have that led up to our shoulder and then i'll meet you back so that we can finish this off and now that we have the first half of our underarm portion all finished we're now going to close this off by doing a slip stitch row and then we're going to do a decrease row where we do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets into the top two stitches. We're going to repeat those two rows for the same amount of rows that we have on the other side. And then I'll meet you back after we do a chain up of one and cut. And now that I have the entirety of my front panel all finished, we're now going to get started on our back panel. That's going to start off by doing the same amount of chains and rows as our front panel. So go ahead and do your underarm chain, underarm rows, and then our one shoulder row and then I will meet you back. All right, so for my back panel, I have gotten started and I have my underarm and my first shoulder row. From here, we're going to work across with back loop half double crochet rows and back loop slip stitch rows with no increases and no decreases for the same amount of rows that we have from this point to this point. I'll meet you back after our last slip stitch row right here so that I can talk you guys through our underarm. All right, now that we have made our way all the way across our back, we have ended on our last shoulder row, which is a back loop slip stitch row. And now we're going to do our underarm. So it's going to be done the same way as the front panel, so I'm just going to talk you guys through it. We're going to start by inserting our stitch marker into the same amount of chains as we made for our shoulder. So mine was 17. I counted down 17 stitches, inserted my stitch marker, and for this first row, I'm going to half double crochet all the way up until we have three loops right before our stitch marker and then do a decrease of three. Decrease into every row for the same amount of rows that we have on the side and then finish off by doing the underarm which is a slip stitch row and then a half double crochet row with a decrease of two. Do a chain up of one and cut once we have all of those rows finished and then I'll meet you back. All right, we have just finished the entirety of our back panel and now we are ready to seam our front and back together. So the first thing we're gonna do is flip our back panel over so that we are now looking at the back, the back smooth side. We're going to grab our front panel and place smooth end to smooth end on top of each other. And then we're gonna start by inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch because we're going to seam the sides first. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through everything, do a chain up of one to secure. And now I'm going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So into the front panel, insert your hook into that first available stitches front loop. Then into the first available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook into that back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Set next available stitches. Front loop, insert your hook. Next available stitch is back loop, insert your hook, and slip stitch. Continue to do this one all the way up. We don't have any more stitches left. Go ahead and do a chain of one and cut. Yeah, we have seamed our side. We're now going to seam our shoulder, which is actually just going to be a knot since we only have one shoulder row. So we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. And pull through. And tie a knot 
and then our shoulder is connected. And now that we have this done, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now that we have our sides and our shoulder seamed, we're now going to start working on our sleeve. So we're going to insert our hook into the last stitch into our side seam, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and making sure that our work is slipped right side up, right side out, we're going to work clockwise. We're going to start by inserting two seam crochets into every side half double crochet row that we have. So let's get that started. Let's insert our hook into that first side half double crochet and do one single crochet. So pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's our first single crochet. We're going to put one more into that same side half double. So insert, pull through, pull through two. Let's do the next one. You're going to skip over this side slip stitch row. And put two single crochets into this next side half double crochet. So insert into there with one. Into that same side half double crochet with two. And I have just one more, so let's do that together. Into that side half double, there's one. And then there is two. From here, I am at my shoulder portion. So I'm going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch, making my way all the way up and over. When you reach this underarm portion right here, continue to put two single crochets into every side half double, slip stitch into this chain one space that we did when we started off this row, and then I'll meet you back. We've just finished our first single crochet row. I slip stitched into that chain one space, and now we're going to work on our row number two. So from here, we're going to chain one, and then continuing to work clockwise, we're going to put one single crochet for every single crochet that we have for our underarm portion. I had a total of six stitches for this portion, so I'm going to go in with six single crochets. Now that I have my six single crochets, we're now going to do half double crochets going up and over the shoulder, leaving the same amount of stitches that we just did for our single crochets, so I'm going to leave six. Put one half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the same amount of stitches for our single crochets, and I'll meet you back so we can close off this row. I have half double crocheted up and over my shoulder, and I have left my six stitches, so I'm going to do six single crochets. Let's just do the first few. Insert your hook into that next stitch with one single into the next, another single. Close off this row by putting one single crochet into every stitch. And now that we're at the end of this row, we're going to slip stitch into that chain one space. And our next row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row. So for our row number three, chain one and flip our work. And for this row, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you back so we can start our decreases. We finished our row number three, which was a row of back loop slip stitches. We slip stitched into that chain one space, did a chain up of one, and flipped our work. We're now going to start our decreases because we need our sleeve to be nice and snug. So we're going to start off by making the same amount of single crochets that we have for our underarm portion. So like I said previously, I have a total of six single crochets. So I'm going to put one back loop single crochet into the next six stitches. Now that I have my back loop single crochets, we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets into the next two stitches. So insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all three. After our decrease, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch going up and over our shoulder. You're going to leave the same amount of stitches as single crochets made on the other side so that we can close it off the same way that we started. So I have six single crochets here. I'm going to leave six single crochets plus an extra two for our decrease. So a total of eight. I'll meet you back so that we can close off this row together. I've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving my six single crochet stitches 
plus 2 for our decrease. So into the next two stitches, let's do a decrease of two single crochets. So insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, that next back loop as well, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And close off this row by putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch and slip stitch into that chain one space. And now that we've closed off our row, we're going to do a chain up a one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to repeat these two rows that we just did until this fits nice and snug around our arm. And then I will meet you guys back to let you guys know how many rows I have. I'm back with the first portion of my sleeve. It fits really snug around my arm. And from the first single crochet row all the way until where I ended, I have a total of 11 rows. And just by measuring this underarm portion right here, this is a total of 2 inches or 5 centimeters. From here, we're going to do the same type of rows. So single crochet at a half double with a back loop slip stitch row in between, but now with no increases and no decreases until this becomes completely horizontal on our arm. So let's get this started. The row that I finished off on was a back loop slip stitch row. So from here, I'm going to do a chain up of one, and I'm going to start off by doing the same amount of single crochets that I've been doing for our previous rows. So I have a total of six. So I'm going to be putting one back loop single crochet to the next six stitches. And now that I have my single crochets, I'm going to switch to my back loop half double crochets. So I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet going up and over the shoulder until I have the same amount of stitches for my single crochets left on the other side and then close off with back loop single crochets. From there, I'm going to slip stitch into that chain one space to a chain up of one. Flip our work and just like before, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to repeat those two rows until this becomes completely horizontal on our arm. So I'll meet you back when I have that done to let you guys know my measurements and my row count. Alright, I am back and I have just made my way all the way down with my evening out rows. I have a total of 25 rows and underneath right here, I have a total of 5 inches or 12 centimeters. From here, we're going to work on the length of our sleeve until we are ready to decrease. So let's get that started. I ended on a back loop slip stitch row. So I'm going to do a chain up of two and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And then once we reach the end, we're going to slip stitch into that second chain, do a chain up of one, flip our work. And put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and keep alternating between those two rows until we are ready to start doing some decreases, which is around our elbow. I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know into what rows I'm going to decrease into, making sure that we meet back on a half double crochet row. All right, so I am back with most of my sleeve. I'm right about where my elbow is, so I'm going to start decreasing with you guys. Just to let you guys know, I have a total of 51 rows, and from our underarm, this is 13 inches and 33 centimeters. I did end on a slip stitch row because all of our decreases are going to be in our half double crochet rows. So from here, what we're going to do is do our typical chain up of two. And we're going to start by doing a decrease of two half double crochets into the first two stitches. So yarn over, insert into that first back loop, pull through. Into that next back loop, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach the outside of our sleeve. Now, this number doesn't need to be exact. It just needs to be balanced out by the first decrease that we did along this inner corner. So I'll meet you guys back along the outside right here. Now that I put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until I reach the outer edge of my sleeve, I'm now going to do a decrease. So just to do that together, we're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, next back loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all four. And we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, slip stitch into that second chain, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to decrease into any row that we need. So I'm going to be decreasing into my 52nd, my 54th, and my 58th row. And I will have a total of 67 rows. And I will meet you guys back when I have the entirety of my sleeve done. 
And now that I have the length of my sleeve, we're now going to work on the cuff. So we're going to start off by making a chain the length that we want our cuff to be, and I want mine to be about 4 inches, or 10 centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 15. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of a 1. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, you're going to insert with a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through everything. Into that next chain, yarn over, pull through everything. Put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we slip stitch into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the next available stitch into the base. So inserting your hook into that next stitch, you're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And now our first row is finished off. To work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And I'll meet you back so that we can seam our cuff. And now that we have made our way all the way around with our cuff, we're now going to seam it together, and that's going to be an outside loop slip stitch seam, the same way that we did the side. So we're first going to want to make sure that our work is flipped right side out, and we're going to insert our hook into that first available stitches front loop into the front panel, and then the first available stitches back loop into the back panel, yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next loop, into the front panel, make sure we're going into that front loop, and then the next loop into the back panel going into that back loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left. And then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. And now that we have both of our sleeves done, we're now going to start working on the fold. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out, looking at the back panel. And I have inserted my stitch marker into that middle row that I have. I'm going to take out my stitch marker now and then insert my hook into that same row. Oopsies. Here we go. Insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're going to work our way across the back and then over to the front, putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet, and then one single crochet atop every side slip stitch row. So let's get that started. Inserting your hook into that next side half double crochet, we're going to insert our hook with one, and then into that same side half double crochet row, there is our second. Now let's do our next side slip stitch row together. This can be a little tricky because we're going to have to find it. So go ahead and insert your hook with one single crochet, and then into our next side half double, insert with two. You're going to maintain this single crochet sequence, making our way all the way around the front, across our back, and then we're going to slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you back. I've made my way all the way around with my single crochet row. I've done a chain up of one and cut, and now we're going to get started on our fold. So the first thing we're going to do is find our middle stitch into our front panel. We're going to insert our stitch marker into there. And then on both sides, we're going to count six stitches and insert our stitch markers. So along the side, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Same deal on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And counting out these six stitches, this is going to give us a fold that is about two and a half inches. If you guys want your smaller or larger, go ahead and adjust where you insert your stitch marker. But what we are going to do once when they are in place, into the left side, making sure that the bottom of our shirt is faced away from us. I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch marker stitch, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through. From here, I am going to do a chain up of one, but try and keep this tight so that we don't have a gap when we go in with our next stitch. The next stitch that we have is going to be in the next available stitch, and that's going to be an increase of two single crochets. So insert your hook into that next stitch with one single crochet, and then into that same stitch with a second single crochet. 
And now that we have our increase, we're going to do three single crochets and three half double crochets. So into the next three stitches, one single crochet into each. So here's one, here's two, here's three, and then into the next three stitches, one half double crochet into each of those. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three. And now that we have our singles and half double crochets, we're gonna go in with our double crochets, making sure that we increase into every stitch. So let's do the first few together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch with one double crochet. We're gonna do that by inserting our hook, pull through, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, once more into that same stitch, so yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Let's do one more increase together. Yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, into that same stitch, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Maintain putting an increase of two double crochets into every stitch all the way around until we reach seven stitches right before our stitch marker because we're going to do our three half double three single and then increase of two all right we have made our way all the way around with our double crochets making sure that we did an increase into every stitch we have seven stitches left right before our stitch marker so let's do our three half double crochets so there is one there's two, three half double crochets, and then we should have four stitches left. Let's do three single crochets. One, two, three, and then into that stitch right before our stitch marker, let's do our increase of two single crochets. So there's one, there's two. We can take out this stitch marker now, and then into that stitch that we just took our stitch marker out of, we're gonna slip stitch to close off our first row. And in order to work our way up to the next row, slip stitch into that next stitch and flip our work to start our next row. Our next row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row, so we're going to insert our hook into the first back loop. A quick tip is the two stitches that we have closest to our hook is the two slip stitches we did into the base, and we're going to skip those so we don't accidentally increase. So skip one, skip two back loop slip stitch into that next stitch, pull through. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way around. Now that we have one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, let's connect it into the base. So into the next available stitch, go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything to close off our row number two, row number three, slip stitch into that next stitch, flip our work, then just like our previous row, we're going to skip the two stitches nearest to our hook because those count as our stitches that went into the base. And now we're going to do the same increase of two back loop single crochets, three single crochets, three half double crochets. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. When we have seven stitches left, we're going to do three back loop half doubles three back loop singles, and an increase, and connect it into the base. And then repeat those two rows until we don't have any more stitches left to go into, into the base, and then I'll meet you back. All right, and I have gone back and forth with all of my fold rows. I didn't have any more left, because I met in that middle stitch, and I did do a chain up of one and cut. And from here, we are all done. Go ahead and just weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and our top is all finished. I'm loving the look of this top. It's elegant enough to be worn to a formal party and stylish enough to be worn for a fun night out and everything in between. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what your favorite flavor of soda is. So that's it, everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel.
Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.